welcome to Talk Pro Aviation. This is Captain P. K. Yadav. Hello, guys. Today we will learn about transmitting techniques. Okay, maintain an even rate of speech, not exceeding hundred words per minute. Why? Because you know we use this fashion across the globe and. Uh, we all have different accents we all have a different style to speak in english so that's why we should speak slowly and clearly so that message can pass properly and the other party can understand all right so if you speak faster they may miss something so that is why this uh, rate of speech is restricted to 100 words per minute not more than this when it is known that elements of the message will be written down by recipient speak at a slightly slower rate you can reduce it less than 100 to that's not a problem because the other party is writing all right guys maintain the speaking volume at a constant level okay so I hope there is nothing in this line which I have to explain. Avoid using hesitation sounds such as er, er. All right, so avoid it, guys. Next is depress the transmit switch fully before speaking and do not release it until the message is completed. In case if you released without completing your message, other party is not going to listen the other portion of your message all right guys so make sure you do not release until the message is completed this will ensure that the entire message is transmitted guys okay next is an irritating and potentially dangerous situation in radio telephony is a stuck microphone button guys that is very bad situation it happens sometimes during your flying so Operators should always ensure that the button is released after a transmission and the microphone placed in an appropriate place that will ensure that it will not inadvertently be switched on guys. Guys for all the pilots I would recommend if your PTT button is not working properly please change that it can create a lot of issues while you fly. Because in case if you are not able to communicate effectively, that is going to hamper your flying performance for sure. Because uh, while you learn flying initially, you have to concentrate, you have to learn how to look outside, how to, you know, uh, check other parameters. See, you do very good. All the training pilots do very good while take off, cruising. But while you are coming to land, things are going to be, you know, not as expected you will not able to maintain center line you will not able to maintain speed sometimes sometimes uh, you will do ballooning over the runway so many things guys because you do not learn how to take off you always learn how to land because you know at the specific uh, distance or uh, i would say distance as well as height okay you see center line okay you are perfectly maintaining each and everything and uh, you are going to land on a perfect center line but uh, due to ground effect initially you are not able to even uh, think like what happened suddenly everything was perfect so due to ground effect this is how we learn by practice uh, land again and again and again so that helps you then you master it then you fly then you land then you get solo flying and all so guys it is really very important your mic button should work properly all right guys so this is how a couple of my colleagues have faced uh, these kind of issues and uh, because uh, i was aware about these facts somebody told me my instructor told me earlier while i was learning how to fly so i never used this kind of microphone because uh, I knew what is the importance of uh, transmission while you fly. All right, guys. So this was the story and a suggestion. Always use proper working PTT. Do not uh, accept anything below standard because that's not the joke. We are in air. 
we need effective communication all right guys so next is uh, keep microphone at appropriate distance from mouth uh, do not uh, touch your lips with the mic all right just uh, you know make some distance uh, so that you, whatever you speak because uh, while we speak there's air which comes out from our mouth okay it creates uh, some static so it's better to avoid that static by keeping microphone bit away from uh, your mouth okay next is suspend speech temporarily if it becomes necessary to turn the head away from the microphone all right guys and the last one is the transmission of long message should be interrupted momentarily from time to time to permit the transmitting operator to confirm that frequency in use is clear and if necessary to permit the receiving operator to request repetition of part not received guys everything has explained already all right so these are the transmitting techniques all right which uh, we have to follow in our day-to-day -day transmission life we can do our transmission effectively if uh, we follow these things diligently if we know the transmitting techniques in case of anything if we get something which uh, we never got uh, training on it uh, but we can handle because we know the basics if you know how to drive 800 trust me more or less like it will take you half an hour but uh, you can drive any car in this world it will take some time just to know like how to start and uh, what kind of uh, clutch you are going to use is it automatic or not it will take you maximum one hour and uh, you guys can master any car trust me if you know how to drive a 800 so same goes to flying like uh, if you know how to fly Cessna it will take some time you need because uh, that's the big machine there is a difference between aircraft and uh, car uh, you will get some sort of training type rating then you will come to know how to fly that in a similar fashion in uh, our transmission life if you know almost all the situations in case something arrived in your real life for that uh, you never got training you do not know how to give a call or make call you can use your simple transmitting techniques and uh, talk to it easy all right guys oh i hope uh, you have understood each and everything in case of anything guys you can uh, come back to me i'm here to help you i hope you enjoyed this lecture guys just to support me more uh, that can be a good motivation for me to keep uh, recording uh, these kind of videos guys keep subscribing share all the lectures so that you know maximum aviation population can be benefited uh, by all these things i'm trying my best in case you have any idea to make this better uh, you guys can suggest me your all the valuable suggestions are most welcome all right guys take care see you soon here you go your checklist like subscribe and share thank you for watching